Hey everyone, I'm Jessie Jane from lilyshop.com and Stacy is back and we are making Valentine's Day bark. Bark, bark, bark. So you'll do the milk chocolate, I'll do the white. And mine is in bars, so I'm just gonna cut it up so it's thin. So just half, right? Half. And that will go into the microwave for 30 seconds, then stir it 30 seconds until it's completely melted and you can come back. And I'm gonna pour mine in and make sure you have the paper lined in your pan so it doesn't stick and it's easier to take out. Okay. Parchment paper works best. Yeah. And I'm just gonna stir in the rest of my chocolate so it melts. You kinda want it to still be a little bit sticky, not all the way hard. Um, so it, the two, the white chocolate and the milk chocolate or dark chocolate, whichever you use, so they don't separate when you break it up. Yeah, so they adhere. But if it's too melted, you'll get a swirl pattern. Yeah. Which is fine too. On the one, the batch that we already did, we have a swirl. But So to this, I'm going to add some food coloring. Since this is for Valentine's Day, I'm gonna make this white chocolate pink. So this is food gel, food coloring gel. You can get it at the craft store or the market. And it works better when you work with chocolate. Stir this in while it all melts. And then you're gonna put that in the fridge, right? Yeah, just a minute. So yours chilled yes. in the fridge or freezer for five minutes and I'm gonna put the pink white chocolate on top. And if you wanna spread it out with a spatula, Okay, now we want to take the candy hearts and just put them on top. Not too many, just kind of sprinkle them around. Oh. <laughs> okay, so everything has hardened in the freezer and you can easily take it off. One trick that I found, an easy way to break it up, is if you leave it on here, and then you place another piece of parchment paper over it, and then I flipped it over, because I didn't want to crush the candy heart, and then you just take a rolling pin, and it did nothing. It's not, it's That's not hard. That's a really good it's trick. It's not hardened enough. It has to be really, really hard. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Try something new, or we could do this. <laughs> I promise when I made my Christmas peppermint bark, it was like the easiest thing ever. But it was, <laughs> and I didn't even temper my chocolate. I just stuck it all in my microwave. It looks like crap. And it was amazing. And it was all broken because she smashed it with a rolling pin to Best smithereens. peppermint bark anyone's ever Oh, had. oh, this is so hard. Okay, but if you leave it in the fridge for a little oh, bit longer. Oh, no. And you let it get harder. Then you can do this, and it's fun, because you could take your aggression out when you're hitting <laughs> the... Um, oh no, let's put this on my pile, it's already done. My pieces look so much better for Christmas. <laughs> that was one sheet, that's why. <laughs> and, about? okay, let's stop talking. <laughs> if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe. <laughs> and I will see you next time, not Stacy. Mine's the best. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs>